We're just going to be doing a session on attack and movement. Uh, because of the size of the area, uh, numbers all out, I've adjusted a little bit. Um, and I'm not necessarily going to be showing you the exercises, but more concepts to work on. And coaching, as a bunch of other coaches have already said today, it's, uh, it's a lot of plagiarism. You know, we, we take exercises from here, there, everywhere, and we make them our own. It's the details that are in the exercises that are important. I visit a lot of professional clubs, um, other colleges too, watching coaches, and the exercises really change. Uh, I've watched Liverpool do exactly the same exercises as Wake Forest. The exercises are the same, but what people want out of each exercise is different. Anyone can look up exercises, put the cones out and have the kids do it. But are we having them do what we want? Are we actually teaching them stuff is what we really want to do as coaches. So these are going to be relatively simple exercises, just working on how forwards move, um, how attacking midfielders move, wide players, all that sort of stuff. And we're just looking at concepts. So um, the details that we're going to go through are going to be important. So what we're going to do is usually in, in the correct space, in the correct uh, place, we would have this going both ways. And we'd have goals at each end and we'd have runs in behind from each side and we'd start it both ways. But we're just going to do it one way to start off. All right. So all we're going to do is we're going to start from one side. You guys are going to be the first side to go. Right? We have that darker, I think it's black or brown, the halfway line there. That's going to be our offside line. Okay? So you guys in the middle have just got to watch out a little bit. Right? So we're going to start with a simple pass into our guy here. All you're going to do is kill it back for me. When I pass, you're going to make a run along the line and I'm going to try and slip you through. All right? Once you go through, if you need a touch, take it. If you don't, just try and finish one of the goals first time. Okay? So just to walk through it, we're going to play here. You're going to kill it for me and I'm going to try and play you through there. The object is to play a ball that's that good that it takes us first touch for them. We don't really want our forwards having to take multiple touches because it slows us down, all that sort of stuff. We want the run, come across the green, we play him in here, he goes through, bang, left foot into the opposite one. Okay? Once they've gone, then you guys are going to go. Okay? So it's up, kill, play him behind, and we, we hopefully get a goal off it. Okay? And just rotate through the cones however you please, all right? Just don't leave one open, obviously. Okay, we ready? Off you go. So play in, kill it for him, play him through, all right? Go on, turn and finish, go on. It's a goal there. Okay, so now, that's a good thing to start with. If you don't get the perfect pass in soccer, you're gonna stop and say, ah, oh, we should do that again. No, right? If you get the ball, you still wanna score, okay? So whatever happens, as quickly as you can, Fix it and go to goal. Okay, let's go. Kill it. Whoa, 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 not you. Okay, next one, next one, that's gone. Get a ball. Okay, play him in. Good ball. Can you finish? Can you finish? Good, next one, next one. Don't watch him, next one. Good, kill. That's a good ball as well. That was almost perfect. Here we go. Who's in behind? Good, good. And finish. Keep it going. Make sure you know who's going when it's your turn. Good. Good. So this is a decent warm-up. Gets them moving, gets everyone involved, gets people hitting at a goal, which uh, all the kids obviously love, gets their attention pretty early. Okay? It's also working on the other things, the passing, the receiving, all sorts of stuff. Keep it going. Okay, and let's just hold it there, all right? So now, what are we using this line for? Offside, line. offside, right? We're using it for that. So I'm gonna stand there and I'm gonna say whether you're offside or not. We wanna be able to hold our run, be intelligent about it. One of the most common phrases in soccer by both players and coaches I've found, and you know, even when I was a kid in Liverpool, it was the same, is make a run. Everyone says it all the time, but what does that even mean? Make a run. There's hundreds of thousands of different runs you can make in soccer. Make a run means nothing, right? So that's what we're trying to teach is what runs to make, okay? With offside and all that sort of stuff, we can't just turn and run forward. Sometimes we can, but rarely is that the case. So what we're trying to teach is going across the grain, okay? Because as I was watching uh, someone put a session on in the other gym, they were talking about everyone gets fixated on the ball. Okay, so runs across defenders while they're looking at the ball 
you can lose them. And as Adam's last session went on about pressure cover balance, you know, being able to pass players on, who's marking who, little bit of confusion and we can get him behind. So this run is important. As a wide player, as a centre forward, whatever it is, we want to try and make angled runs. Okay, so let's work on the timing of the run. Just because he plays it up there doesn't mean a goal, right? It's all about how can I get him behind as quickly as I can without having to wait for the ball. If he plays now, go on, and I've already gone, go on, play. Now I'm too late, okay? It's, it's all too early, sorry, and we're waiting. We need to time it, okay? There's nothing wrong with standing still now and again on a soccer field, holding your run, all right? Sometimes that's the best thing you can do. Right? So we've got to figure out, go on, you play, figure out when we should start to run, he's killed it, now I'm in behind, and perfect. Okay, the ball was there, as I came across, I'm just breaking the offside line, then I'm in behind. So when you find yourself in these wide positions, sorry me, think about your run and how you're going to stay on side and when to time your run. All right? Let's go. Let's go. Good. Just offside, but we'll let you go. There's a lot of terrible linesmen out there that would let that go. Come on, let's try and go game speed here. Let's try and make these runs game speed. Oh, there you go. You were right on side. Perfect. Unlucky with the finish. Let's go, let's go. Yeah, where's your run? Good, you just kept it on. Good, let's go. Just offside, but finish it anyway. You never know when the linesman might miss it, so finish it anyway. It's all right, finish it off, finish it off. Good, good. There we go. Keep it going. That's all right. Now, just hold it there. If any of you were at my session earlier this morning, I talked a lot about speed of pass strength for pass, and basically in any session, it's one of the most important things. I mentioned a guy called Rodolfo Borrell, who used to be in charge of uh, Barcelona's academy, was at Liverpool's academy, he's now with Manchester City and New York City FC. He thinks the most important thing you can teach as a coach is, is strength for pass. He thinks it's the most important thing, and his Barcelona youth team was Messi, PK, and Fabregas, all in one team, so it wasn't bad. Um, he thinks strength for pass is the most important thing. We can have all the movements in the world, but if there's no service there, it's not going to come to anything, right? So we've still got to coach that. We can't just think about coaching the one thing. We don't want to go too far off topic, but this is important too. So if the runs are great, but the service isn't there, we've got to work on it a little bit. So the guy here who's killing the ball, and again, I mentioned it in my, uh, in my session this morning, this ball from you back to me is not a pass. It's not a pass. I call it a kill. Let me actually take your place. All right? My job is to make him look good. His job is to make this guy look good or this guy. We'll go with you. Okay? So when the ball comes into me, okay, and I'm playing it back to him, I want to make sure he can play the best pass possible at the correct pace. All right? Comes in, okay? If I go like that, it's tough, right? I'm not making him look good. I'm not helping him. All right? So just kill it, just little kill, play it, all right? Little kill in there, he can step into it, all right? So we get the right pace, and it's right there so we can really make a good pass. That's what we want to do. So let's focus on that as well. The, the pace of your guys passing behind there is also important because we want to make the run, okay? So we'll go from this side, and let's go. Play it, little kill, good, good. Unlocking, next one, next one, next one. Good, kill it. Now. Let's just stop there. If you know he wants to play in that side, what side should we kill it to? There we go, make him look good. Let's go, let's go. Come on, next one. Know what side he wants to go. Know what side he wants to go, let's go. Keep it going, keep it going. Little kill in there, good, good. Time you run, time you run. Keep it going. Good. And again. Good. Okay, now we're just going to change it a little bit. As uh, I've said before in soccer, you know, nothing's exact. We can do these type of patterns all we want, but rarely does it ever look the way it should. You know, we can't control the other team. We can't control what they do. So we need to show different options and let the players make their own decisions. So next option, our central player here. 
You're going to show for the ball, okay? When he shows for the ball, what he, what's going to happen? A defender's probably going to come with you, right? Which creates space. So now, if we're going from you, if you're making the run, just go back a second, go back, okay? He's going to check in. That's our signal to go. He checks in, I take a touch, and we're right in behind there, okay? So now we're going to go directly from you in behind. You guys are just a decoy, all right? But you're still going to rotate in. But what we don't want to get to, okay? And I'll say it before, I, you guys won't do it. I know you won't, but... What happens is we have a guy just go like this and someone plays him, yeah, got to sell it, right? If you don't sell it, the defender's not going to buy it. So I've got to go, yeah, 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 yeah. And you almost gave it to me, you know? You got to sell it well, okay? So we're going to do that. We're going to check in, have a little ball in behind, straight in behind, and we're going to go, all right? So we'll go from you first, all right? Let's go, sell it. Good, good. There you go, and finish. So now we've got a little bit more space to work with. Let's go, let's go. Good, good. Can you get a little toe on it? Come on, next one, next one. Good. Unlucky, unlucky. Let's try and work out the pace of this pass. What does it need to be? Now forwards, you've got a little bit more room to work with. You can go a little bit quicker on these runs, right? Because we know we're getting it direct. That's a great ball. Great pace on it. Did you need a touch? Can we finish in one? It's all right. Work with it, work with it. Good. And finish it. Stay on side, remember that line. Remember that line. Let's go. Good, good, great ball, oh, the touch. Keep going, keep going. Now, that's a good example. When we do things like this, when we do passing patterns and stuff like that, it's important that we still talk about the game, okay? I try and keep everything as, as game specific and we can make it look like a game as much as it can. Not always the case. The last thing we want to do is have the players just play the exercise, play the drill. What happened there was whoever the wide player was didn't start making a run, okay? They weren't doing anything. This guy comes in and checks and we played it anyway, and then the guy goes, oh, I've got to run. That's playing the exercise, we're not playing the game. If he doesn't make the run, we're not going to play it there, right? In a real game. So start thinking about in real game terms. Got a sense forward, got two wide players, or we've got an attacking midfielder, a couple of strikers, we've got a, a central midfielder here. Okay? You've got to make eye contact with these guys. They're the ones who make it happen. You guys have got to look over and be like, I'm going to make a run in behind. Don't have to shout for it. Okay? There's a lot of uh, body language can do our talking for us. And you start making that run then. They don't run. You can't play them, right? Because there's no one there. We're not passing to anyone. Okay? So start having a bit of a relationship with the wide players or the attackers and the passer. Okay? Let's go. Good. Go on, next one, next one. Next one can go. Good, great ball, finish that. Beautiful, well done. All right, make it happen. Good, nice little move there. Who's next? That's all right. Go on, yeah, just fill the cones as you see them empty. Oh, speed the pass, speed the pass. Yeah. Good, good. Let's fill it up, just fill it up. Now, when we do this with the college program, we'll have a full-size goal there with a goalie, and we'll have a full-size goal at this end, and we'll have it working both ends, but we'll only have that side will go that way, this side will go that way, and we'll have two players in the middle being able to turn and play people in. We're, again, what we like to do is keep everything game-specific, have a lot of things going two ways. Uh, obviously, more people get involved that way, and if you've got two goalkeepers, good way to work them too. If you do only do it one way, you can still have a goalie down there and a goal as well. Okay, couple more. Let's have three more goals and then we'll move on. Three more goals. That's right, next one, next one. You've got to be onside though. That was offside. That's onside. Finish it, finish it. I'm not counting that one either. Unlucky, unlucky. Next one, next one. Can you finish from there? Nice, no, unlucky, unlucky. Speed the pass. Now, just hold. I just said three more goals and we, we finish off. So naturally, everyone wants to score one of those three goals, right? So what happens if someone's at that cone, that cone, they start going really quick so they can make it to one of these cones. 
When that happens, quality suffers, right? And the last couple of through balls have not been the best. So good habits keep the quality. I said in my earlier session, habits are important. If a player gets to us at the college level and they can't do something, it's really hard for us to teach them at that point because A, they're older and they don't want to learn too much, and B, there's other people who can do it, so then they're going to get left behind. This age group, younger age groups, all the youth age groups are so important, having good habits all the time. So don't let the quality drop in your sessions just to let something go, okay? We want to challenge the kids to make them better if they don't do something, and it's not about yelling at them or anything like that, but we've got to, we've got to address it, okay? So let's keep the quality up. Let's see if we can get three quick goals, all right? Let's go. Good. And finish. Next one. It's a great ball. Good stuff, good stuff. Here's one. Can we get two more? Now notice I haven't talked much about the finishing to the players because I'm not coaching finishing. We're coaching the attack and movement. Finishing, although it's related, it's a totally different animal. Right? There's a lot that goes into that and we're just not going to breach it with this. We're, we're working on the movement, we'll work on the finishing laser. You can be the best finishers in the world, but if you can't create your own chance, you never get the chance to use it. Okay, okay, grab a quick drink and we'll, we'll move on. Whoever our goalie is, get ready to be a goalie. Can I also have two players in yellow bibs, please? You want to grab those two orange cones for me? Two. Okay, if you want to just make a goal on this red line, you can go red line to red line, okay? It doesn't have to be massive. Okay, so everyone else just go over here for us. All right, let's get two players in white in the middle against these two yellows. Okay, give me a player on the side there, player on that side, and a player right on this end here, just one of you. Okay, the rest can just be off for a second. We got a ball? Yep, right here. Okay, so again, this is something we would actually go both ways with. We've got 2v2 in the middle, we've got a wide player outside back. Wide player outside back, central midfielder, centre back, whatever you want to call it. Right? Just trying to relate it to the game. When we do this at the college level, we'll have an identical one of these on the other side, same numbers, and uh, just one goalie, and we make sure that it's only poles or a double-sided goal or something so we can play both ways. As soon as it's done on one side, we go to the other side and we keep it playing. What we're working on is these two strikers here. Okay? They're the only people who are allowed to score. This guy can't score, this guy can't score, this guy can't score. Okay, we're trying to create chances for you two, any way you want. Okay, you guys can pass to each other, but you only have two touch. Okay, you can just circulate it between yourselves, but ultimately we want to score goals, right? So we want to get it to one of these two guys. You guys can, if you get it, you can go past your defender. You guys can put a little cross in and, and get a touch on it. You can combine together, do whatever you want. Okay, just trying to score goals. What's that? What's the goal? There where the goal is. Actually, do you want to go put a blue bib on just so we differentiate you a little bit? Thanks. Okay, so when I roll it into you, we're live, okay? Ready, Keith? Let's go. Okay, so now when defenders get it, you just knock it out to one of the outside players and we'll keep it going, all right? Let's go. Quick as we can. Can we play quick? Can we play quick? Nice ball, nice ball. Can you set one of these guys up? Nice, nice. 
All right, so I'm just hold there. Now, how big do you think this area is? Close, okay, we're about, we're about 20 by 20. Okay, not even, probably 15 by 20. A lot smaller than the 18 yard box in the penalty area, right? We're basically in shooting range whenever you get the ball. If you were on the side of the 18 yard box or side of the penalty area, what would you be thinking? Right, you'd be trying to get it to one of these guys. We're doing a great job of keeping possession, okay? But ultimately, we want to score goals. So the way to do that is to get it to the people who can score goals. So take a few more risks. If the defenders win it, that's okay. 90% of attacking moves end in failure, right? There are goals in soccer, but not a ton, all right? So we need to take risks now and again. Don't be too safe, okay? If we're playing at the back, yeah, we want to be a bit safer. But here, take some risks, all right? Try and make something happen, all right? Let's play. Nice try, good, good save, good save. Get another ball, get another ball. Go on and play. Good, good. Great movements off it, good stuff, good stuff. That's all right, play the end guy. That's all right, keep playing, keep playing, keep playing, keep defending. Okay, now, so now, the aim of this is to teach attack and movement, so we want to give them some different options to look at, okay, we'll, and we'll do them one at a time. So first off, uh, where is he? I think it was you, who played a great little give and go, or attempted the give and go. So that's the first thing we can look for, a give and go in these areas. Tight areas require quick touches, one touch play sort of stuff. You got the ball, looked out here, played right to him, and you took off in here, you tried to play it back and we almost made something happen, right? So that's the first thing we can do. Look for a give and go from the wide players. Who else can give us a give and go? Exactly, okay? We're 1v1 in here, right? He comes in, little quick one there, and we're in, okay? So they're the type of things we can look for. So we'll, we'll first off, look at playing a ball and then entering the space directly behind the ball, okay? Play. Good, good, and you're off. It's all right, play it again, play it again. Nice try, nice try. Oh, nice run. You made the run for the give and go there. Great ball, unlucky, unlucky. So now, with the give and go, all right, the little one two that we're showing, there's something else that happens. Can I see that ball? If he gets the ball, right, and plays him looking for a give and go, and then takes off, what do you do? So go on. He drops back with him. There we go. We've automatically opened up some space, okay? The key thing to attack and movements is relationships. When one person moves, they ultimately leave some space behind. It's how we use that space that's important. Everyone watches the ball, okay? and everyone watches the last person to touch it. So when he plays it wide and takes off in there, you, d you did the great thing, right? So give it back to him, you go close him down, okay? When he plays that ball in there, this guy's watching the ball, watching the defender. He goes, I can pull off, okay? And maybe I've got a shot, maybe I can combine, whatever it is. But we've created some space, and now we've got to use it, okay? So think about those little things. All right, let's go. Great stuff, great stuff, and finish. Beautiful, beautiful. And again, let's go again, go again. Yeah, yeah. Good, just play out here. Just watch that speaker, watch that speaker. Go on, play. Uh, it's unlucky, it's unlucky. Play out again. We'll just let you play for a minute or so. All right, okay, so now we've seen the benefits of a give and go. These guys executed it very well. If you guys want to sub in for players, go for it. Uh, Defenders, if you want to switch with someone, go for it. Okay, we've got two defenders, two strikers. 
Okay, so now we really want to, I guess, go off the relationship of the two attacking players. When one player does one thing, we want the other player to kind of do the opposite. The most natural thing to do is one come short, one go long. Okay, and this could be two strikers together, could be a striker and attack a midfielder, could be a central striker, a wide player, whatever it is. But now we've also still got the option of giving go, but now we're looking at maybe someone's coming to feet. If you're marking me, you're going to come with me, correct? Okay, and just like we did in there, maybe I'm selling it for you to run in behind there. Okay, if he doesn't come with me, what do you do? Pass it to me, maybe I turn and shoot. It's all about decision making. Okay? We're not coaching these guys to say, when you get the ball, this is what you do. We're coaching them to say, when you get the ball, depending on what's going on around you, you can make a decision. We're giving them choices. Okay? So what we want to do is make them move one of these two guys, create space for the other, just like we did in the opening sequence. So if we can get one to come short, you come with me. Okay? Maybe I don't get it, but maybe you're right across in there and we have a goal. Okay? So there's another option we can look for. Okay? And play. You don't have to play it. Don't feel like you have to play it. It's just an option. You don't have to play anything. That's all right, get another ball, get another ball. Play, play, play. Another ball, another ball. Make sure you know who's on the end here. Work off each other, work off each other. Unlucky, unlucky, another ball. If you can turn and shoot, do it. Remember, you're basically inside the 18-yard box. Great little ball, good stuff. And again, and again. Yeah, if they're sleeping, you keep going. Good. Now, now, just hold one second. Okay? If we train attacking players to wait for defenders to get back and everyone to be ready, that's what they're going to do in a game. Right? So if a goal's scored, the defenders want to go talk to the keeper. But these guys are ready, let them play. Let them play. Attacking and being a good attacking player, half bit's about deceit and getting one over on the, on the defenders. So if they want to have a little discussion there and you can find space near, go get it. Turn and have a shot or go at them. Don't train them to wait for everybody to be in position because then they'll do it in a game. When we're under pressure, when we're in games, we revert to our training. Okay, so train them to have a little bit of a chip on the shoulder and ready to take advantage. Okay, let's go. Yes, yes, you've created some space. Good. Good stuff. Now, why did that goal happen? Give and go, but just by playing the ball to the extra guy, okay, even though we know he couldn't score, Everyone was attracted to the ball. That's what defenders do. And you guys made great use of the extra space there. Okay, so the ball wide attracted both of you, not just one, both of you. And that's natural. That's what defenders do. They wanted to stop the cross. Goes in and we get a goal. Okay, let's keep it going. Good, just keep moving off the ball. Sometimes, again, you can stand still to create some space. Yes, yes. Good, good. Keep it going, keep it going. Nice pass. Yes. Nice stuff. Good save, keeper. Good. Okay. We want to make this as competitive as possible. All right. We're basically inside the penalty area where, you know, that's where, if you scored a ton of goals, that's where the money is. The highest paid players in the world are the goal scorers. Okay. We want people who live and die and breathe for goals. So we want this to be competitive. All right, so you know you can do that any way you want. There's hundreds of different ways to make things competitive. Okay, some of them are better than others. It's all down to opinion. You know, you can make some sort of, I guess, punishment for the defenders, whatever it is. All right, but introduce having different teams, and when we have both sides of it going, you have different teams, and it becomes really competitive because you'd have three, sorry, two yellows over there who are the strikers against two whites who are defenders. So. That's what we try and do, keep it as competitive as possible. Let's have another little rotation, and we'll introduce another little concept, another way to find some space. Quick, quick, quick. We need a wide player out there, two defenders. 
We need a wide player there. Okay, so two defenders come in, mark these guys. Your strikers? Okay, so now we can introduce some 1v1 play as well. Again, we're in the penalty area. Defenders don't want to make tackles in this sort of area. So we want to give them the option of maybe they can turn the man, whatever it is. Okay, so if I just take your place and if you're defending me, all right? The best strikers in the world, best attackers in the world, they love contact. They want to know where the defender is. If they can't feel a defender, they don't know what's going on. Okay, so having someone close to you is not a bad thing. Knowing where they are, knowing how to manipulate them is important. And we can't be afraid of teaching that to young players. It's part of the game. It's not cheating, it's not fouling, but knowing where defenders are and being able to move them is important. So if you're marking me and you're staying really tight and I come in and I know you're on this shoulder, okay, and I'm able to turn like that and maybe get in behind, that's a good thing, okay? But how do we make that turn happen? As he comes in here, I've got my hand on him, I know where he's going, I'm pushing him that way and turning this way. Using leverage, using your body, all right? So now, We've got the give and go. We've got the combination of the two, one going short, one coming across in behind. Maybe now if you've got someone on your back, have a go at turning them, all right? This is set up for the attackers. If you lose the ball, what happens? You get it back. You get it back. It's perfect, all right? We want to set it up where players aren't scared to lose the ball. If players are scared to lose the ball, they won't try things, and attack and play is all about trying things, being confident, all right? So if, if they lose the ball and something bad happens, they're not going to want to try things. They're going to be scared to lose it. So by them giving the ball away, getting it straight back, they're going to be able to try some things and we'll have some confidence, okay? So let's see what we can do. All right, off you go. Good, good movement, good movement. Just keep the ball circulating. Yes. Good stuff, good stuff. And again, let's go again. It's all right, can you win it back? Good, press him, press him, good. Can we move off it though? Every time the ball moves, we should probably be moving, right? Find a different angle. Okay, play again, play it back, play it back. Yeah, don't wait for him, don't wait. Unlucky, next ball, next ball. Good. Oh, nice, I don't mind that, that's okay. Okay, grab a quick drink and we're just gonna change it one more time. You stay as a keeper though, okay? Okay, can I have one more player in yellow? We, so we've got three yellows. Keeper, you're in goal. Okay, so our three yellows, I want two here in this end, the other side of the, uh, the yellow cones, and one here. Then we'll just, we'll have two whites. Two whites, let's go, two strikers. Okay, so then we've got 3v1 in here. All right, and we're gonna set up as a two and a one. So you go be our one against him, okay? Actually, we'll make it a 4v2. So you come on, you go grab a yellow. 
Okay? Usually this would be a 5v3, all right? but numbers obviously we can't do that. So what we're going to do, we're going to play a bit of possession in this area here. All right? That area over there is basically the same as what we've just done. You guys are trying to get the ball, trying to score, whether that's through combination or whatever. But now you don't have the outlets on the side. You've got to do a lot of work on your own. You two are trying to stop it going down there. But no one from here can go in this area. Nobody from there can come in this area. Okay? Just the ball through. It can come from... What's that? No, you cannot shoot from this area. Okay? So the two defenders come in. You can maybe leave one to screen that area like a defensive midfielder. Maybe one to put pressure on the ball. Because if you don't have pressure on the ball, what can happen? Just play a ball through. If I'm a striker here and there's no pressure on the ball, he can play me, right? So we want to have pressure on the ball, all right? But we know you guys are outnumbered. So we're going to play possession. When you have a chance, find a striker. Now, the most natural thing for strikers to do, or for any player to do, when we have something like this is what? Exactly. Most players will stand right here and say, yeah, give me a ball, give me a ball. Can't really do much with that, okay? So you guys, there's no offside, all right? So create some depth, get back on your line. Create some depth, have some room to play into, because maybe, just come defend me, if the ball comes all the way through, go on, play me, maybe it comes all the way through, yes, and we play there, and maybe we've got something, okay? So respect the attackers, go with them, and let's see if we can get some goals off this. There's no, you don't have to make a certain amount of passes, you can just play it if you want. If you get it, okay, just play your keeper, all right? And then we'll start over again. Yeah, both of you can pressure if you like. All right, let's go. Can we get it down? Can we get it down? It's all right, just start it again. Good, great touch. Brilliant stuff. Keep playing, keep playing. Okay, now yellows, if you get it, just roll it into one of these goals if you can, okay? Even you guys. All right, let's start it. Yes, great touch. Who's on? Keep playing, unlucky, unlucky. All right, go on, you got it, you got it. What's on? Good, go for goal. Okay, play it back, play it back. Start again. Yes. Don't. Now hold, now hold. What's happened about four times now? What's happened about four times? What have you guys, what kind of situation have you guys been in? Well, not a lot of pressure, but you've been able to turn, okay? And what are we getting from you guys? What we talked about. You guys are right on the line saying, just give it to me and I'll do the rest, okay? Like Balotelli does, all right? But he's rubbish, so we don't want to do what he does, okay? We need to have movement. Why can't we do the same as what we were doing before, right? If you're in here, maybe you're going in there. What if you're already in here? This guy's got the ball. What if I start going here? He's going to come with me. Maybe you go in there. Dynamic movement, right? But you did one thing that was really good, okay? You grabbed hold of him. And you said to the guy who had the ball here, just watch out. You said, play me anyway. Come on, you started sealing them off. That was good. We can do that. Strikers should be physical, right? Okay, so let's see a little bit more movement from you guys. All right, let's go. Come on, can you, you can play. Look forward. Unlucky, unlucky. Go for goal. Go for goal. Win it back, wait. There you go. Oh, unlucky. Win it back, win it back. Good, good. 
Great touch. Great little look, unlucky. So now, just freeze there. What we've added is a bit of pressure, okay? Because unfortunately, when we're playing in games, we don't always have the outside players who no one can tackle, right? So we've added a bit of realism to the game. We've also added, when the defenders get it, we want our white players, our attacking players, to win it back. That's probably the easiest and best way to create a chance is to win the ball from the opposition in their own half. Okay, so we've added that. When the yellows get the ball, can I just have that ball quick? Okay, the first couple of times that they've gotten it back here, they've advanced to about here with the ball. The white attacking players are behind them, they've gone like that, but they've given it away. Okay, once it's been given away, what have you guys done on the white team? Spread it back out, but what could you be doing? I've just given the ball away here, I'm supposed to be marking him, right? Best time to attack is maybe when we win it, right? So first thought should be, can we look forward? Can we find an attack player? There's no offside at the moment, right? So we, we take advantage of that, okay? But we've got to have a relationship from you guys. You guys are doing a nice job of talking, okay? But have we had any given goals like we had before? If the ball comes into me here, okay? This guy comes and pressures me. Can you come here? Okay, maybe I can play you there and we can find someone else. Okay, you can still play up and back and move players around. All right, let's go. Good, good, 1v1. Yes, unlucky, unlucky. Let's go again. I'll get that, leave that, leave that. Yes, great little touch, unlucky. Yes, you've won it back. Play, play it. Unlucky. Let's grab a ball, play it again. Yeah. It's good pressure by the yellow, it's good. Yes, we've gone directly. Okay, and just freeze there. Now, we had a great thing from our player back there. He basically took what we did at the start, okay? He went directly from there to here. What was the problem you had? Weren't ready for it, okay? You were right here, there's nowhere to go for it. Again, take this guy away from you. Take this guy away, then we've got space to use, okay? So, this isn't just with youth players. Our college players get stuck on the line all the time. And it's, it's frustrating, but we've got to teach them to, to use the line, but also create their own space. Okay? Off you go. Unlucky. Go on, win it from, win it. Good, good. Press him, press him. Where are you going? Good, can you play? Okay, so now we're just gonna change it one last time to, to add a little bit of different movement because attacking movement isn't just forward. Now we want a midfielder to get involved. So now, okay, if a ball is played from a midfielder up to a forward, all right, and then it's played back into a midfielder, that midfielder can take it into the next zone, all right? So if the ball comes up to you, you're able to lay it off to me, I can come in, which now makes you two have to deal with me and those guys, okay? But that can only happen if it comes in and comes back and that player can take it in. All right? Let's go. Oh, nice try. Unlucky, unlucky. Let's try it again. It's ambitious. Go on, play with the yellow, play with the yellow. You've got a goal to score in too. Win it off and win it off and press and press them. Unlucky. Remember, you outnumber them, so press them. Yes, yes, who's off them? Unlucky, unlucky. Good, play, 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 play. Good stuff, yellow. Okay, take it back there, play it again. Last minute or so, last minute. 
Yes, can you play with him? Unlucky, unlucky. Okay, and we'll just hold it there. All right, thanks guys. Now just give these guys a round of applause for uh, the excellent play. Now, as I mentioned at the start, it's not about the exercises. Coaching, attack, and movement, you want to make the space as big as possible, okay? Because we want to get a ton of success. It's hard in here. It's hard for those guys to create opportunities. Attacking players need space to run into, all that sort of stuff. So it's more the concepts that we're talking about as opposed to the exercises. The exercises in, a, in an outdoor setting, when we're using our, on a proper field, they'll be much wider, much deeper, all type of stuff to allow uh, more success. But again, we're just trying to show the concepts of attacking movements and trying to create confidence attacking players. It's not about showing them where they're wrong all the time, but giving them a chance to make a mistake and, and hopefully create their own uh, ideas of how to get open or how to develop attacking opportunities. All right? Um, does anyone have any questions about anything we did or coaching attack and play? No? All right, well, thanks for watching and uh, enjoy the rest of the day. Thanks.